Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kayla Fahey Arndt. I talk about leadership, career, planning, organization, and mindset on this channel. So if you love those topics, hit subscribe so you don't miss a video from me. I love organization. Like I said, I love being proactive and I just love just setting up all my systems. So in today's video, I'm going to be sharing all about the app Asana and I'm going to be showing you how to create projects, tasks, tag yourself, tag other team members, and just be like a productivity wizard. Um, and it's a funny story. I actually started using Asana. I don't know. I was trying to think about what date, probably 2016, 2017. And I remember recommending it to my leader at the time. And it was like this brand new concept to them. And fast forward to 2023 and we're using other softwares like Asana at work. Um, so I feel like in today's world, it seems very normal. But back then, Asana was really ahead of its game. So I love Asana because it's very user friendly, it's intuitive, and it's very beautiful. <laughs> it's very nice to look at. So I'm going to share some of my best tips for using it to get organized, being proactive, and just having a lot of fun. Um, so if you want to hear more about this, if you like diving into these things and you're obsessed with organization, stick around to the end of the video to get all the tips, as well as to hear about something upcoming that I have that's free, that's exciting, that I'm posting here on YouTube that I think you'll really enjoy. All right, I'm going to share my screen and hop into Asana and show you all of the things. Let's go. So all you have to do is go to asana.com. You can scroll through here and check out all the deets and you can already see visually. It's very pleasing from the examples it gives you. Also a really cool thing is that it's able to be integrated with different applications so you can pull in data from other places. So let's talk about what type of plan you need. Um, spoiler alert, I don't think you need the paid or premium or business plan when you're first getting started. I personally have used the premium and business plans for a short amount of time. And I, while I think they're really helpful, I love to just keep it super simple. I always talk about going back to basics when I get overwhelmed with my organization. So um, I feel like the free plan has everything I need to get started. And I'll go back to the probably the premium plan later um, if I really want to get in depth with my organization. Um, so it's free, free forever. Like I said, I've had some of my accounts since 2016 and you can see all the free things that are offered, um, board view, calendar view, being able to assign people and due dates and, um, having unlimited messaging, unlimited projects, unlimited, um, tasks. So that's awesome. And, um, so I would say if you're just getting started, click into the free plan. So I'm going to log in here. All you would have to do is do sign up and create an account. I'm just going to go ahead and log in here. So this is my actual Asana that I've been using for my business. I started playing around here and I have some fake tasks <laughs> in preparation for this video, but it comes to a home screen and I'm going to show you um, how to create your first project, which is really how things are organized in Asana. It's super easy. So you go to create project. You can either use a template. So they'll give you examples. Like for example, if you want to make a one-on-one -on -one meeting agenda, or if you're looking for like, let's say you're doing some product work or you're doing sales work or marketing or your human resources, it has some really cool templates. So I love doing that. Um, but if you just want to start out from your own and build from scratch, I would suggest doing blank. And this is where you would come and you would name your projects. So let's name this demo project and you can choose list view, which is basically, you know, your traditional checklist, or you can do board view, which is like a Kanban board. Um, so you're going to see like, uh, buckets that you can name your different tasks under. Um, timeline is a premium feature. Calendar is free. So, um, and I will just say it doesn't really matter what you choose because at the end of the day, you can toggle between all three of these. So you can see like up here where it says demo project, you'll have all of these options in the free plan. So I just usually go with, um, list to start with, and then I do open project. So this is what it would look like. So just to begin, what you would want to do if you're going to create, let's say um, you have to uh, accomplish certain tasks and they're grouped under different um, headings or types, you can say section one, come down and maybe add section two. 
And then underneath each section to add a task, you'd hit the plus sign and you can write task one and enter. And that's gonna create another task. Um, the really cool thing with tasks is you can reorder them by hitting the up and down arrows as well as you can move them to different sections. You can assign people to them. So if you want to, you can invite teammates via email. I believe you can have like 15 people on a free trial. I don't remember the exact amount, um, but you can just tag yourself if you want to assign yourself. And then you can create a due date. So what this does is it adds it to your calendar section so that it will show up under the day that it's due. So let's say I'm going to give myself like till the midweek to get this done. So I'm going to hit June. All right. So now it says Wednesday. So to go more into detail and do a task, you would click the arrow and it's going to open like a sidebar here for you. So you can do a little bit more in this sidebar. So I have it under the project demo project. But if I had other projects, I could add additional projects. So I do have other projects in this um, workspace. So I could say I'm going to add it to my career kickstart course. So it would add this task to an additional course, which is pretty cool. In the description, this is where you can type notes about your task. And what I love about this as well is you can format really nicely so you can see it has everything like a text editor like microsoft and it does actually look very nice and clean and organized and you can also put code in here my favorite thing to do to stay organized is to use bullet points and um, you can also create numbered lists in here and do tabs and everything so it's super organized Additionally, you can also link to um, like outside websites. So say I want to link to my website. So I can just link to my website and it's going to click and open my website for me, which is super cool. You can also link to other projects or tasks by hitting the at symbol and then typing a project. So if I want to um, link to my career kickstart um, project or course, I can link to it by hitting the at symbol and it comes all here, which is really cool. And uh, the other really cool thing about this is you can record a video. So let's just try to do that. It's going to be very meta. We'll be, be recording a video in a video. <laughs> let's see if it'll work. <laughs> Okay, this is so crazy. I've never done this before while I'm recording, so I'm recording a video in a video right now, and that's that'll that's all we have. <laughs> oh my gosh, it did it. So that's really cool. So what thing, what's really nice about that is you can screen grab if you're working with a team or yourself and you want to capture a workflow, you can plop a link to it right here in the description. So as you can see, there's so many things you can do in the description. The other thing you can do in a task is create a subtask. So say your task is create a marketing plan. Your subtask could be um, write out editorial content for the week. Um, maybe it's record videos. I don't know. You could think of total, so many different subtasks you can add, and you can also set due dates for those subtasks as well as assign yourself or other team members. And you can put comments on those subtasks. It's really endless. So I think this is really cool. So now let's look at the board view. All you have to do is come into the top of your project and hit board. All right, so we have section one and section two, and in section one, I have task one. If I wanted to, I can move it over, move this card over to section two. I can add another section here. So section three is going to show up on my list now as section three, which is really cool. Everything is in sync. So I love to use the Kanban board if I'm going to be like doing different phases of work. So like planning, 
doing, checking, acting like PDCA, or I can maybe have different ideas. So like I'm planning my course right now, um, a course for being organized, hint, hint. And so I'm going to, in that I have different sections about what I am going to talk about for each course item. So I love just being able to move task to task this way. Now, like I said, timeline is a premium feature, but it would show things kind of like a Gantt chart. If that's something that you love, maybe you're a project manager and you love and are obsessed with Gantt charts, but the calendar view is free. So you can see I added that task had a due date on the 14th. It's that same task that we looked at before where we added all the bits <laughs> and we did our new recording, which is really cool. And, um, the awesome part about this is you can just check off the list here as well, or the task here when it's done and it fades to the background, you can uncheck it. You can edit it from here, which is really cool. The calendar view is customizable. So I have it toggled so weekends are off, but if you work on weekends or want to set deadlines or anything like that, you can turn it on. So you're able to toggle. Again, this task is colored because this demo project had a color assigned to it. You can change your color of your project here. You can give it a different icon, which is really fun. Um, so let's just change that up. The other really cool thing with the calendar view is you can make it so that um, you're, you're able to move tasks around just easy like this by grabbing them. So you're really not limited at all. You don't have to be in the list or the board or the timeline view to only do certain things. The calendar view is great. You can just easily move something here. So if you had, let's say you're a YouTuber like me and you had this video planned for Friday and it's going to take you extra time and you're like, you know what, I'm going to do it next Wednesday. You can move it around here as well. So that's simply how a task can move to the board view, can move to the calendar view. The other thing about just managing your project in general is here, you can click the down arrow like I showed you, you can change the status, you can change the color, all of that. If you click on overview, this is where you can assign roles and team members. You can actually create a project brief here. So if you want to like articulate the purpose of a project, you're able to do that here, which is really cool. And it suggests different parts. So I can say, okay, I'm going to put in an executive summary and this, I'm going to say like, this is bear with me. <laughs> what my project is about typing is tough today. And then, you know, move in a problem statement, all of that, which is super cool and looks really professional. And this is really helpful if you're working with a team and you're going to see that project brief right here. Um, you can add other documents, like if you want to add a link or something from your computer, like a file or a link to a Google drive or even OneDrive or SharePoint. So it is Microsoft compatible. So I'm going to show you my editorial calendar for my business. I don't, I do use lists for my business and I keep ideas in here's like, um, for a different editorial content, but really I'm using this project for the calendar view. So don't be overwhelmed. This is my system. It may or may not work for you, but we'll go to the past. So you can see, I have this sort of like administrative tasks that I like to get done. The things that are grayed out are things that were done. Um, I have, like I said, that tagging system for my videos. So um, like I shared, I have a tag that this needs social sharing and content repurposing. So usually my videos get left at this green tag because I feel like I can repurpose the content and turn it into different blog posts over and over. So I'm still sort of like continuously imp improving my process, but you can see everything that's green has been recorded and socially shared. And then the purple are just emails that I've sent. So I just like to see like, okay, how many emails have I sent to my email list over the last month? And the purple is just a really good like visual way to see what I've done. So you can look back at the past and plan for the future. You can come up here to the, to the today um, box and it'll move you to today's date. So if you're like searching in the future or in the past, you're always going to be caught up. You can also toggle weekends on or off like I showed before, which is pretty cool depending on your business. So the last way that I'm going to show you how to deal with tasks is going to my tasks up here on the left hand side and you can go to the calendar view so these should be things that are um, assigned to you so you can see I was like creating a few 
tasks here, fake ones. I'm recording this video right now. <laughs> this is Sana video that's hoping to come out on Tuesday. Um, and so I love this focused weekly view because it allows me not to focus on like this huge picture. Sometimes I need to be doing that. A lot of times I need to be doing that. Sometimes I just need the weekly view. And then you can also click this button on scheduled tasks and you're going to see everything that um, is assigned to you but unscheduled. And the cool thing is you can like move it over and add it to a day of the week. So that helps you plan in real time when you're able to have more um, just when you want to like say, OK, I have more capacity this week. I'm going to add an additional task. So I hope that gets you started with Asana and you just get there, get in there and try it out. I'm going to be diving more into this in my free four day boot camp. That's what I wanted to share with you. Surprises out. It's called Organized AF. I know it's a bit cheeky. <laughs> it's happening on June 26th through June 29th. And every day I'm going to help you get yourself a little bit more organized for work and life. And I'm going to be talking about Asana and giving you more helpful tips and shortcuts to navigate throughout the program and some of my best practices. So if you love this video and you want to learn more about that and being organized, check out the link in the description below to sign up for the free four-day organized AF bootcamp. All right, until then, I will see you in the next video. Let me know if you're like, ooh, I love Asana, if you've been using it or if this is new to you and you're excited to try it. All right, everybody, take care and I will see you soon. Bye.